so many creators do it as a as a fully solo activity. A lot of people grow quickly or they have the brand of the newsletter as their name. But the thing that I notice about The Generalist is how many people are in your corner rooting for you. For the amount of time you've been doing it, we're two years into this, not even, 18 months. I think that this, as you described it, multiplayer experience is a big part of it where it's not just like, hey, we're fellow creators, we're all in it together. I'm commenting on your story and saying, hey, I particularly love this one because we're friends interested in similar things. You've actually built in these two systems of the S1 clubs and the request for startups every week, sometimes with the S1 club four or five times a week. And I'm just thinking about how other people could do that. If you were writing your newsletter every Monday and Wednesday, and that was the thing that you were writing, but every Friday you're going out and you're saying, I'm doing a cross post from one of my favorite writers. And so it forces you to do two things. One, go out and meet new people. Two, the people who you follow and admire, you actually send them the email and be like, hey, do you want to collab on this? Because I need <laughs> I need someone to fill this slot. And I think it really accelerates growth. Packy did a really great job with this with his Thursday post. He writes a Monday post and a Thursday post. And sometimes he writes the Thursday post, but a lot of the time it's someone else who is an expert in something. He had one of the founders of Managed by Q talking about the new food ecosystem and logistics. This is someone who's clearly thought about the future of cities, the future of spaces very deeply. Dan isn't running a, a newsletter, but still takes a lot of value in sharing his thoughts with an inbuilt audience. And Packy derives the the benefits of his audience in turn. So I definitely think there's a many, many ways to do it. 